Okay, so I've been seeing a lot of people have this issue with Windows 11 and Oculus Link, so I thought I'd go ahead and make a video because no one wants to. So, this is a very easy fix if you're running Windows 11 and you're noticing missing frames. It's super easy, takes a couple of seconds, and that's it. Alright, so first things first, open the Oculus software, connect your headset. I'm not going to because this is just teaching you how to do it. And then you're going to want to open the Oculus Debug Tool. If you don't know how to get to the Oculus Debug Tool, right-click where you have Oculus, click Open File Location. Next, go to Oculus Support, Diagnostics, and you will see Oculus Debug Tool. Double click it and open it. Once you're in this menu, it's really easy. All you have to do is click Service, toggle Console Window Visibility, then click Yes. You will get the admin prompt. I don't know if you guys can see that. It will open this window, and very important, do not minimize this. If this is minimized, you will start losing frames again. It's okay if it's not on the front of your desktop, just as long as it's not minimized. Like right now, it would still be working perfectly fine. So if we go ahead, we can minimize this. We can close debug tool. And as long as this is open, not minimized, you will not have any frames lost. So if I booted up Beat Saber, for example, just real quick, I'm not, I'm, I don't have my headset plugged in. We're not doing all that. This is how you fix it. If we have Beat Saber open and it takes up, we'll just say this Chrome tab is, or we'll just say this this uh, Oculus tag. Oh, whatever, it's booting. Here we go, here we go. Give it a sec. Here we go, Beat Saber. You, you see how it's here, but we can't see this window? That's okay. It does not matter as long as this window is not minimized. That is all that matters. It would still be running perfectly fine right now. Just make sure that one window is not minimized. And that is it. Your Windows 11 Oculus Link experience should be back to the perfect smoothness that it was back on Windows 10.